Hi everyone, I am Arun Chulkar. Today in application of integration, we will talk about consumer and producer surplus. Consumer surplus, also called social surplus. Under pure competition, the equilibrium demand X0 is obtained by equating demand and supply function. And we can calculate consumer surplus using formula integration of 0 to x0 demand function as a function of x respect to x minus p0 x0 or we can calculate consumer surplus respect to p also using formula integration of p0 to p1 demand function as a function of p respect to p If you see this figure, consumer is willing to pay this much amount. But because of market forces only paying P0 X0. So the difference between these two which is denoted by the shaded area known as consumer surplus. Producer surplus. Under pure competition, the equilibrium demand X0 is obtained by equating demand and supply function and producer plus can be calculated using formula p0 x0 minus 0 to x0 supply function respect to x or we can calculate producer surplus respect to p also using formula integration of p2 to p0 supply function as a function of p respect to p producer received x0 p0 but is willing to receive this much area this area so the difference between these two is denoted by this shaded region is known as producer surplus example one find consumer and producer surplus under pure competition for demand function p equals to 8 divided by x plus 1 minus 2 and supply function p equals to half of x plus 3 where p is the price and x is the quantity. Under pure competition, the market demand is obtained by equating demand and supply function. Demand equal to supply, so 8 divided by x plus 1 minus 2 equals to half of x plus 3. After simplification, we will obtain equation x square plus 8x minus 9 equal to 0. So x plus 9 into x minus 1 equal to 0. So value of x is minus 9 and x is 1. But minus 9 is not possible because quantity never be negative. Put x equal to 1 in demand function and we will get p equals to 8 divided by 1 plus 1 minus 2 which is equals to 2. So equilibrium point 1 comma 2 and the consumer surplus which equals to integration of 0 to x0 demand function respect to x minus p0 x0. Here x0 is 1 and the p0 is 2. So integration of 0 to 1 demand function respect to x minus 2 into 1. Integration of 8 upon x plus 1 is 8 log mod x plus 1. Integration of 2 is 2x and limit 0 to 1 minus 2. Now after putting upper and lower limit, we will get the answer 8 log 2 minus 4. And now producer surplus. Producer surplus is p0 x0 minus Integration 0 to x0, supply function respect to x, p0 is 2, x0 is 1, integration 0 to 1, half of x plus 3 respect to x. Integration of x plus 3 is x plus 3 whole square divided by 2, or 2 is already there, so upon 4. Now putting upper and lower limit, and after calculation we will get producer surplus equals to 1 by 4. Next example. A monopolist demand function is x equals to 210 minus 3p, where x is the quantity demanded when price is 
P rupees per unit and the average cost function is AC equals to X plus 6 plus 10 upon X. Find the consumer surplus. Demand function is given X equals to 210 minus 3P or we can say that P equals to 70 minus X upon 3. So revenue function which is P into X equals to 70 minus X by 3 into X which equals to 70X minus X square by 3. Differentiate respect to X in order to find marginal revenue and the marginal revenue is 70 minus 2X by 3. And average cost is given X plus 6 plus 10 upon X. First we find cost function. Cost function is average cost multiplied by X. So cost function equals to x square plus 6x plus 10. Now differentiate respect to x in order to find marginal cost. And the marginal cost is 2x plus 6. Under monopoly, the quantity x node is obtained by equating MR and MC. Thus 70 minus 2x by 3 equals to 2x plus 6. And after simplifying, we will get x equals to 24. And also, if we differentiate the marginal revenue, we'll get minus 2 by 3. And if we differentiate marginal cost, we'll get 2. And the derivative of marginal revenue less than the derivative of marginal cost at x equals to 24. So maximum profit is obtained at x equal to 24. Thus, x naught is 24 and p naught is 70 minus 24 by 3, which is equals to 62. And now we calculate the consumer surplus and the formula of consumer surplus is integration 0 to x0 demand function respect to x minus p0 x0. So this is equals to 0 to 24 70 minus x by 3 respect to x minus 62 into 24. And after simplification we will get consumer surplus equals to 96.